All right, so we're looking at Caribbean geography, and the, the first lesson under Unit 3 is um, Caribbean climate. So we're going to look specifically at Caribbean climate. No. We're going to look specifically um, today at Caribbean climate. So what we plan to do for this, I'm not going to make the videos very long. Um, videos short, at least eight minutes. So we're going to look at outline the characteristics of Caribbean climate and discuss factors influencing climate in the Caribbean. So, um, what type of climate does the Caribbean experience? Let me give you a few minutes to think about it. If your response, or if you, what if what came to mind was tropical marine climate, you are correct. The Caribbean region experienced tropical marine climate, but we're going to look at a model so that we can locate other areas or other regions because what i want you not to believe that it is the only that the caribbean is is the only region that experience um tropical marine climate if you look at this map right here you'll realize that the regions identified by red here represent areas which experience a tropical marine type climate so for if you realize not only Caribbean is highlighted, Australia, parts of Australia, Central America, parts of South America, and parts of Africa also experience a tropical marine type climate. So, um, tropical marine climate usually experienced by islands and coastal areas additionally, 15, 10 to 15 degrees, some books say 10 to 20 degrees north and south of the equator. All right, so we're going to look at the word tropical and the marine. We're going to bring those two words into perspective. So when the word, when you think about the word tropical, what comes to mind? Hot, humid, all right, good. When you think of the word marine, what comes to mind? Sea, having to do with water bodies. So right, you realize um, we can now talk about some characteristics from looking at these two words about tropical marine climate. We, being that it is marine, we know that it has something to do with the sea. And point to note is that the main factor influencing this type of climate is the sea, right? It influences the type of temperature that they, we experience, and it also the sea is also responsible for regulating the differences that we experience as it relates to the elements associated with this type of climate. Important to note also that in addition to the sea, trade winds, trade winds also um, influence this type of climate. What are trade winds? Trade, trade winds are actually warm winds passing over a warm ocean surface. And these winds tend to blow continuously. So you might see the word prevailing winds in that they continuously blow in this, in this specific area. For this case and point, we're looking at Caribbean climate. The Caribbean region is affected by the northeast trade winds. And the northeast trade winds are winds that blows from the Atlantic across the islands. These winds tend to pick up moisture over the Atlantic and often cause relief rainfall in the Caribbean as they rise over the mountain region so remember atlantic is towards is the east of jamaica here so we'll have like the caribbean sea and then further east we have the atlantic ocean so the more severe the winds would approach the caribbean the northeast trade winds rather will approach the Caribbean from this angle. And then when it comes in contact with this natural um, obstruction, which is the Blue Mountain, these moisture bearing winds would force to rise and produce relief rainfall. So one characteristic so far is that we have highlighted is that tropical marine climate, one type of rainfall that they commonly experience is relief rainfall. And please know that I say one type of rainfall because other types of rainfall takes place within the Caribbean. Specifically, the rainfall normally average annually between 1,200 to 2,000 millimeters per annum. The rainfall is seasonal, 
with a wetter and a drier season. So one thing to note is that the we tropical marine climate has two distinct seasons: the dry seasons, the dry season, and the wet season. Note there is no prolonged period without rainfall. So although some months might um, record low precipitation, there is rarely any month that we have absolutely no rainfall or there's rarely any extended period like six months without rain so point to note is that the dry season doesn't mean that there's absence of rainfall the dry season means that there is just less precipitation recorded during this period i do know though that climate change might cause some extremities and then you might have times where we are two three months without rainfall but remember that like, climate change is a phenomenon that is that is affecting or, or or that is affecting the the long term climatic patterns that we will experience but we're talking about the rainfall pattern on a general scale without considering the impacts of climate change for this case an argument all right then we look at temperature now so one characteristic of the temperature is that the hottest months the hottest months Average temperature 27 to 28 degrees Celsius, while the coldest months average temperature 21 degrees to 26 degrees Celsius. If you should look at this now, we should talk about the diurnal range. The diurnal range now, which is the um, the maximum, the, the, the difference between the highest temperature of the day and the lowest temperature of the day, which is maximum and minimum temperature, you'll realize that the diurnal range would be no more than right here this is two right if we should do the 28 and the 26 so for tropical marine climate during our range is normally between two and three and four degrees celsius hence during our range is not the temperature is very steady so the, the temperature is very steady because you realize that there's not much difference between the hottest and the coldest months for this type of climate all right some more points to note or just to reinforce what i said earlier is that the islands and the coastal areas um that are that are located between 10 and 20 degrees north and south of the equator experience this type of climate factors that influence this type of climate main factors though are the sea and trade winds there are other factors like uh, um, latitude ocean currents so there are other factors but the main factors for this type of climate is the sea and trade winds and the trade winds affecting the caribbean is the northeast trade winds and temperature is usually steady due to the sea's influence so this the sea causes that this steadiness in temperature and during our range, annual during our range is low and annual temperature is also low. So for lesson two, we look at um, tropical marine climate and that's for another lesson.